hostile militant mood that we find everywhere we look is one that is terrifying the ruling class. The unprecedented crisis of capitalism has led to instability across the globe, as people are beginning to question this rotten system. This discontent has spilled over into insurrectionary movements in places like Lebanon and the United States. And this comes as no surprise. The future capitalism has in store for students and young workers. There's no future at all. We have a Tory government in power that has blood in its hands, not only from wars abroad and austerity politics, but now from its abysmal response to the coronavirus crisis, which has caused untold misery and despair for millions of people all over the world. We understand, though, that the ruling class and its representatives are not up to the task of solving any of these problems, even if they wanted to, since it's the system they defend that is responsible for causing all of them in the first place. We're experiencing the death agony of capitalism, as Trotsky called it but the system still needs to be overthrown. We fight for an international socialist revolution. This is the only antidote to the poison of racism, to the climate catastrophe, and to put an end to the exploitation and oppression that exists all around us. So what exactly do we do? Let's hear what our activists from around the country have been up to this year. At Sussex we've been involved in the Fridays for Future climate strikes. At one particular demo we sold 44 copies of Revolution, which is our student newspaper. As well as this, comrades led chants in which we demanded an end to a system which places profit before planet. I took part in a couple of series run by the Marxist Student Federation. The first one was a series on revolutions in which I gave a talk about the Cuban Revolution. And the second was a crash course on key Marxist ideas, such as the role of the state and the problems of anarchism. Here in Sheffield, we joined forces with Labour Society during the general election and ran a campaign for students for Corbyn. And together we fought for a Corbyn-led Labour government. This involved plenty of door knocking and leafleting, but we also combined this with a clear political education and message that only by breaking with capitalism could Labour achieve its aims. The Marxist Society at Cardiff University played an active role during the UCU strikes. We were involved in organising student action, as well as joining staff on the picket lines and speaking at rallies, linking the UCU struggle with the fight against the marketisation of education. At Swansea, the MSF was involved in a joint solidarity meeting with Labour students for the Communication Workers' Union in order to help them in their struggle against attacks on their working conditions. The BLM protests were a great indication of the feelings of anger which are building in society, especially among young people. It was great to chat to other young protesters who carried homemade signs which questioned the racism of the British state. In Cambridge, we occupied the administrative hub of the university for 13 days to place pressure on management to meet UCU's demands. Whilst we were there, we reached out to other unions in solidarity and placed reading groups on key political issues such as how to fight back against precarious work. As Marxists, we will not stand by as the bosses try to gut our universities with their greedy hands of profit. The capitalist system only grows more unstable, more callous, and more deadly with each passing day. Indifference is not an option. It's time to fight for our education. The MSF understands that without revolutionary theory, there can be no revolutionary movement. In order to consciously intervene in these movements that are erupting around us, we must have a scientific understanding of what the world around us is. In order to transform the world, we must first understand it. It's quite clear if we want to fight against fees and the privatisation of higher education, then we need a socialist programme which unites students and uh, workers to fight for an education system which is in the interests of all of us, and that is inextricably linked to the struggle for socialism. As the crisis deepens, the need to build a revolutionary movement has never been more urgent. If you want to put an end to the cycle of violence, misery, racism, sexism and climate catastrophe, then there's never been a better time to join the Marxists. If not now, when? If not you, who? Join the Marxist Student Federation today.